Usually in these is it good videos, I like to defer my judgement on weapons until I've covered off all their features, intended use cases, and an analysis of whether it can really be used effectively against all the other weapons in Battlefield 1, but today I'm going to go straight out on a limb here and call the new Farquhar Hill Rifle for the Medic class the best of the new weapons added with the Turning Tides DLC. I think this thing strikes a really good balance between power and accuracy, rate of fire and control. And on the new Turning Tides maps, Cape Hells and Achibaba, I think this weapon shines extremely brightly. Two variants of this new weapon were added with the DLC. We have the Farquhar Hill Storm and the Farquhar Hill Optical. Now, at this moment in time, I'm still working towards unlocking the optical variant, so I cannot directly comment on its effectiveness, but with the time I've spent so far using the Storm variant, I've had an absolute blast. It suits my playstyle so perfectly, I don't think there is a single barrier in front of me anymore stopping me from doing my job in-game when I'm using the weapon. And of course, that is being a medic soldier. I should be reviving players and healing them up so they can stay alive and help all the other players that are in the server. This gun allows me to react almost instantly to enemies who might make themselves visible at almost any range, and I can either bring them down or inflict some serious damage against them. The Farquhar Hill is probably the best all-round medic rifle that you can use right now in Battlefield 1. Let's look at some of the weapon statistics and see just how it manages to be so good at what it does. Now it's worth mentioning at this point that I don't think the weapon is overpowered, it is just extremely good at what it's supposed to do. Outside of that use case, it is just as disadvantaged as any other weapon in Battlefield 1 when you don't use it to its strengths. If you're caught off guard or you're out of position, then you are going to suffer. First of all, the damage model. Both variants have the same one, with a maximum damage of 42 out to 34 meters, and then falling off to a minimum damage of 30 at 52 meters. Now, in between those values, you'll cross over the mark where the weapon moves from a three shot kill to a four shot kill, but personally, I think this is almost a sweet spot for medic rifles in Battlefield 1. The RSC that was introduced in the French DLC, that is the most powerful medic rifle, doing a maximum damage of 53 up close, meaning it can drop an enemy in two shots without needing a headshot, which is fairly impressive. But it suffers greatly in the rate of fire department, and it only has six rounds in a magazine, and that hurts its damage potential, meaning you need to be quite accurate in landing those six shots to guarantee that you bring your target down. The Farquhar Hill sacrifices a little bit of that damage per bullet and swaps in a greater magazine size and a higher rate of fire, making it overall, at least for me, a way more attractive choice for a medic who's looking to get stuck into the action and have a direct control on gameplay. The magazine size is 20 rounds, or 19 with one in the chamber, and you reload all of those rounds via one proper magazine. Not strip clips as is the case with many other rifles in Battlefield 1. The weapon was designed to be used with 20 or even larger round magazine sizes and they're all fed into the barrel via a drum underneath the weapon. This means reload times are much more predictable than say using a Mondragon rifle where you could be reloading two strips of five into the receiver or you could be feeding bullets individually into the receiver depending on how many were left in there before you started that reload. A short reload for the Farquhar Hill that comes in at three seconds and a long reload only comes 0.2 seconds slower than that. And this means that when you go into that reload animation, you're going to have a very good idea of how long it's going to take before you can actually fire your gun again. And that can make all the difference in battle when you're surrounded by lots of different enemies. That damage model that the Farquhar Hill has, 42 maximum and 30 minimum, mix that in with a rate of fire of 257 rounds a minute, and it makes for a very deadly weapon, which you can use to land shot after shot after shot, on your enemies. 
at the right range, you will be taking those players down in three shots easily. And that's at a level and at a range where you can actually compete with assault players who are using their automatic SMGs. Now, at closer ranges, let's say inside 20 to 15 meters or so, you will still struggle against somebody who's using a shotgun or an SMG simply because they possess greater strength there. But it's not impossible to pull off a kill in a tight situation with the Farquhar Hill. The headshot multiplier bumps the damage of this rifle from 42 to 71 in close quarters. That is a huge amount of damage in one shot. And we're not talking about a sniper rifle here. We're talking about a semi-automatic medic rifle. If you can land a headshot on a player in close quarters and then follow up with another shot, you're going to bring somebody down in just two bullets. So those assault players who were looking to try and take you down, they're going to be dead before they know it. Where the Farquhar Hill really shines as a medic rifle for me, however, is in that mid-range roll where it flirts with a three and sometimes four shot kill damages. At that range, you'll really start to appreciate the weapon's spread and recoil values. And perhaps that's where you'll have the most challenge if you decide to use this rifle quite often, which I think is part of the charm of actually using it. Now the Farquhar Hill Storm, that has different recoil and spread values to the optical version, so I'll go through the Storm first. It has a fairly severe upwards recoil value of 0.54, but it doesn't deviate from that point too much horizontally. Left and right, recoil is just 0.18, and that means you can spend more of your time aiming and shooting at the target, and less worrying about if your bullets are going anywhere near what you're aiming at. Now, the optical variant has a vertical recoil value of 0.9, so it's even higher, and a horizontal value of 0.3. Again, that's higher than the Storm variant, and overall, that's going to make it more difficult to control when you're firing your shots fast at a target. But it has the added benefit of a reduced bullet spread when you're aiming down sight and standing still. The optical lens sight on the weapon will give you a clearer and slightly more zoomed in view of your target. Now having not used this variant, I can't really comment on if it's as good as the Storm variant is, or I believe it to be, but I'm absolutely loving the Storm variant, and it's going to be a long time before I put this weapon down. I'll even go as far to say I'm enjoying this weapon more than I was the Fedorov Avtomat rifle when the Russian DLC came out. That thing is a fully automatic rifle, a World War I assault rifle if you like, and it really changed up the medic class meta somewhat. This Farquhar Hill rifle, it stays true to what DICE released with Battlefield 1 originally, but I think it sits slap bang in the middle of where you want it in all the different statistical areas, including bullet velocity. I nearly forgot this. Bullets come flying out of the barrel of the Farquhar Hill at 800 meters a second. So leading targets is almost completely removed from the equation, and that makes your job so much easier at landing some of those longer range shots. The iron sights are somewhat restrictive on the Storm variant, beyond let's say 60 or 70 meters or so, they take up a lot of the screen, and really the Storm is meant for the mid-range combat, but you can still pull off some good shots out there, and I imagine with the optical variant at longer ranges, it can be a little bit more effective. So, if you couldn't tell, yes, I absolutely love the Farquhar Hill Rifle, and I can't remember having this much fun as a medic player since I unlocked that Selbslader 1906 level 10 endgame weapon a while back and started using it quite a lot. That thing was really, really good at range because it was so accurate. Here, the Farquhar Hill is just so good at mid-range and being an all-round good weapon, I just can't put it down at the moment. Is the Farquhar Hill Rifle a good one? My god, yes it is. The Storm variant is 100% worth the unlock, and it really won't take you that long to do either. As for the optical, which suits a slightly slower playstyle overall, I can't comment hugely as I haven't actually used it yet, but when you have other weapons in that realm that can do greater damage at range like the RSC optical, I'm not 100% sure it will be as successful as the Storm is against some of the rifles that are suited to mid-range, just like the Storm. I recommend that you should go and unlock the Farquhar Storm right now and give it a go if you can. I made a joke on Twitter earlier, if you haven't got premium yet, you should buy it just to unlock the Farquhar Hill and realise how good of a weapon it really is. I think it's absolutely awesome. 
But thank you very much for watching today. Let me know your thoughts on the Farquhar Hill Rifle down below in the comments section. Is this a weapon you're enjoying using or is it one you're passing up at the moment in favour of something else? Let me know down below. But until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.